So I'd like to welcome everyone back who is enjoying the series. If you are enjoying this series, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below. Let's get straight into it. This is 11 years, part three. It's your boy Shumai James, huh? Shumai James, Shumai James. It's your boy Shumai James, what's up? Within this 11 years age group, uh, year six, I'm pretty sure, this is where the rivalry with Darcy Roper and myself, I guess, started. We didn't think it was a rivalry until, I guess, the next year. No, it was this year. Cause uh, he was a Met North boy and I was a Sunny Coast boy. Did the districts, got through to states, oh, regionals, and got through to states, got through the 100 and 200 somehow again. I'm not sure, did it again. Obviously had a little bit of pace back in the day before everyone turned into men. Or maybe I was already the size of a man back then. I think I was pushing up like 5'6 by this point. 5'6, five, 5'7, five, maybe even more. 11, I don't know. I remember seeing Trey again, still just as scared as him, like as I was the year before, even though we went on the state team together, we did all these activities together. Just because when you put two people in the same activity, doesn't mean I'm not gonna be afraid of him still. Hey, we're boys now, right? I hope so. So get through the states, get knocked out on 100, 200, threw that to the side. It was a shame I couldn't do hurdles because hurdles was still my calling at Little Athletics. It was once it like got pushed back to like 80, 90, 100, 110. That's when I was just like, all right, I'm gonna have to hang up these hurdle spikes. We all get through to nationals, but this year it wasn't a nationals. It was the 2007 Pacific School Games. 2007? No, 2008 Pacific School Games. Finding out that so many people that like, I can people now were actually in that games is crazy. Went through to the Canberra for that, and I remember my eldest brother Dave was, used to tell me like how amazing this Pacific School Games experience was because it was a chance where there was heaps of other sports competing all at the same time. So it was it was at the time it was treated like as if it was like a mini Olympics. From what I was hearing, it was still an amazing experience. I ne I never actually got a chance to go out and watch any of the other events, like sports. I remember seeing maybe like some swimming, but that was it. Darcy, Roper, and myself went to the same little athletics club. Um, he was in the age group below me. This dude was just 100, 200, and he just did long jump for fun. So I don't know how, actually, he might not have done as well in the 100. I remember this dude was just like small torso, long ass legs. Like legs went for days, son. Maybe even weeks. I was like, he's not even moving that quickly, but he was smacking up all the kids. Anyway, this isn't about Darcy. <laughs> Tell him to do his own videos if he wants one of these. Pretty much, I had done that 4 meter 74 the year before as a 10 year old, um, what I said in the last video, and got to his long jump. This is when he started trying to beat everything I did the year before at the current spot. And then I'll explain later how that frustrated me because it happened every single year. This year I was like 478, so because he always like just got me every single time. And I'm still so bitter about it. Yes, I've been holding on to it for nearly 10 years. I don't care. Anyway, my events went well. I was there for long and high jump. I remember going to QuestCon with Nah not long before that. So when Nah jumped like five meters for the first time, and I was like, damn, this is crazy. She was 13. And I was like, I want to try and beat that. She got second to like some Chinese lady. I didn't get to verse any international people, which was annoying. Because like hundreds and two hundreds had like internationals. My long jump didn't. My high jump did, which was good. Anyway, long jump ended up winning that jump five meters 13 five meters 13 at 11 see if that any good you got similar close or better or just under let me know what you do to compare in the comments below i think it was it was a close home i was the one to step it up to that five meters mark so which was good and then i ended up beating now and i was like yes i beat now it's great my greatest achievement at the time let's be honest and then i went on to extend that in the later later in the little athletic season. Then in the high jump, this competition was crazy. I remember winning by like a decent amount, like maybe like 12 or 13 centimeters. Daryl had stopped and he was more of a basketball player. So he didn't really like get into like all the states and everything going past that. If he did, he didn't want to go to nationals anymore. There was like a bigger gap between 
I remember still with myself and Jack still, maybe Michael. I remember Jack was like, if I clear 150, I'm gonna do a backflip because we had camera on us and, and it was on the screen up the top. So we, and it was like slightly delayed. So like whatever we did, we could like watch back at it and like we we're having a bit of fun with it. So he's like, I'm gonna do a backflip if I make this height. He made the height, did a backflip, it looked cool. And then what I did, I was thinking, let's be honest, um, I thought it was going to be so cool and I was like, yeah, I get to watch it. I was a shy kid back then. Um, I wasn't a learner, but like these were some learner traits. Um, what, what, uh, what I did was, I did this, um, can you explain to me what what this is? This is some of the Wiggles did. I'm pretty sure. Pew 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 pew. I'm like, did I say pew pew? I am so mad at myself for this. this is, look at this photo. I'm like, I'm I'm here smiling. Like this is the best day of my life. Like, what what is you doing? I remember this competition vividly. This high jump competition was crazy for me, son. I did it 163 at the States. Got through. I was getting close to my PB. Did 163. No, I did 160. Went to 164. And I'm pretty sure the record was like 158. They, obviously, the camera didn't see it. I might have missed it on that attempt. There was this jump that I was running down. Still had my terrible ass run up. Terrible curve mark. Still just throwing my head back, throwing my knee up when I jumped. Somehow jumping big jumps. But when I was running down the runway, I, it was so windy that day, and I'm telling you, this, the mat, uh, so there's a mat and there's a mat cover. The mat cover, like, disconnected and flew up like it was like some big old, like, dragon's mouth or something, and like, went higher than the bar, and then just like, came back down while I was running, and it threw me off so much. I don't know if I still cleared the height. Obviously not, if it's not in the video. Got 164, 167, and like, yeah, smashed the record. Tried 170, didn't get it. Then I started hearing about this Henry Smith dude, so I was like, from that point on, I was like, always trying to get what that guy had gotten the year before, and then there was Darcy chasing me. A funny thing about that whole lead up to that Pacific School Games was, was leading up to it, I was struggling and I was struggling hard. I feel like every single high jumper has to go through this at some point. And for me, it felt like it was forever. I'm not exactly sure how I, how I got out of the slump. I think I just, I just had fun again. I was, like, I was just hoping that what I did at training wasn't gonna reflect at the competition. And I started putting too much pressure on myself, but like I was just balking at high jump. I just was like, this is too high, I can't jump it. My PB was 160. I'm like, I couldn't, wouldn't attempt anything that was higher than 135 without panicking. And even if I made it one time, maybe like 10 run-ups at it and stop, attempt it, clear it. I wouldn't just, the next jump, I wouldn't like just go and attack it again. I remember at the regionals, I think I jumped like 158 at the regionals. And that was mainly because like I kept stuffing it up. Same at the States. By the end I just was like, whatever, let's just go for it. I think I only did it one time at that Pacific School Games. And then, yeah, I jumped to 167. So I was like, that's what I'm talking about, son. You know, what, none of this. 11 years is when we started introdu introducing the triple jump. I remember, I think I, I was jumping like 1120s, 1130s. It got to the States. Maybe jumped like an 1160. Still didn't think that it would be something that I was doing today. I thought this high jump stop was gonna take off and keep going. But that is for another video. So we will see you this next couple of days. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, go and watch them now. Stay up to date. We will see you in a couple of days. We will see you on part four for the 12 years age group, how we did this transition period. And this is where I have my first little athletics nationals. I'm excited to tell you. I'll see you then. Deuces.